it's Meg welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching so today what I have for you guys is a requested video that I thought was a great idea I've heard this a couple times from you guys so thank you so much for leaving me your comments and your questions I really do try and read them all even if I don't get back to in the most timely of fashion but this I thought was a really great idea and I wanted to get it filmed for you guys um, right now. So, so this is all about the Mac crossbodies. I have a Mac and a mini Mac that I want to compare with you guys. So you can see them sitting here right now. I'm going to insert some pictures that I took and then I'll actually show you the bags. Um, I'm going to start with the large Mac crossbody. It retails for $295. It's 11 inches wide by 8 inches high and 2 inches deep. It's the strap is a convertible strap and it says on the website that it's 14 inches to 21 inches. Um, I will show you the difference between it double looped and just completely a crossbody. It has protective metal feet on the bottom and it said on Nordstrom that the large was made out of Italian leather. These do come in a multitude of different colors and you can get them at a ton of different retailers. I will link them through Nordstrom and Amazon. I have purchased mine through both and I'm very happy. Um, the large black one that I have here to show you was purchased at Bloomingdale's and the small one was purchased on Amazon.com. So I kind of just get them wherever. The large black is actually my mom's and then the small gray one is mine. So now for the mini Mac. It retails for $195. They are 9 inches wide by 6.5 inches high and 1.5 inches deep. So the difference lengthwise is 2 inches like long. And the height is one and a half inches, and it's only a half inch difference on the width of the bag. Um, this one also has protective feet, and it just said it was leather. So it didn't specify the Mini Mac as being Italian leather. I also think that, you know, it just depends what color and all that kind of thing. Each bag will be different. It says you get a little card with them that says, you know, it'll feel different. Each piece of leather is cut, obviously, differently. So... The graining and all that can vary between colors or even the same color. Two different bags might look slightly different. So I'm going to start off with the Mini Mac. I am 100% in love with this bag. I get a ton of use out of this. I think that this is perfect for like an everyday bag if you don't need to carry a ton of stuff. I feel like I can fit... I can fit this full-size wallet in here. It's a tight squeeze. I can get this in there, my cell phone, my keys, and, you know, some gum and maybe like a lip gloss. So if you have a small wallet, which I also have a small Kate Spade one, you can obviously fit more other things in there. Um, but I like having my full-size wallet with me. Just when I'm changing out purses, it's just easier. So this, you can see, is the light gray. It's really, really soft and squishy. I do have this stuff so you guys can get a better idea. You get a buckle on the front, which is functional. It flips up, and you have a really nice, smooth zipper. I bought this off Amazon for like 50% off, so that's why it does have the old interior. I'm really happy with this. I love the color. I find that I can wear this even with like workout wear, yoga pants, and sneakers. It's like the perfect casual bag, running to the grocery store, anything like that. I'm 100% in love with it. Um, this is the strap doubled up so you can wear it kind of just on your shoulder like that and it hits me right, you know, around my hip bone. The bottom hits right around the top of my hip bone. So this is really nice if you don't really, you know, want a crossbody one day, you can double it up or you could even just double up one side to kind of get the perfect height bag for you and your frame. This is nice. I feel like it's a little dressier to wear it like that. So I tend to just keep this one as a crossbody. You have the nice leather pool, super smooth. And I have like a talon socks <laughs> here to stuff it. But there is no other pocket on the inside. It's just one open area. So that's just this bag. Like I said, this is an older one. I'm not sure if any of the other Macs come with any interior pockets. I didn't see that on the website. This was just one interior pocket, and I find that it's perfect for a crossbody. You do get the metal feet on the bottom, which is a nice detail. And then on the back, it's just completely plain. So I love this bag. I would highly recommend it. I haven't had any color transfer or anything on this color yet. Really happy with this, and I will post a link for um, the same size and different colors down below. Okay, now for the large. Like I said, this is my mom's bag. I love it. The leather on this one feels thicker. It feels like more sturdy. 
I don't know if it's because it's black. Like I said, this is a couple years. I think she's had this for a year and a half, I want to say. This is the black with the gold hardware. I would say if you want a classic piece, you don't have any Rebecca Minkoff ones, I would definitely go with black and gold. I also have this bag at home, um, but my leather does feel softer. Hers is more textured looking. My large black one that I have in North Carolina is more reminiscent to the gray leather. This one also has the blue... Oh no, it doesn't. That's why. So this one has the tan and black interior and it just has a black pool. I'm pretty sure mine at home has a gold tab on the inside. But this has a zip pocket, a flap pocket right on the back, and then you also get two media pockets on the other side so there's a ton of storage options in this you can comfortably fit a large wallet in here I mean I have a sweater and two pairs of socks and a wallet in here and it fits perfectly so you can easily zip this up so you can imagine all the things you can fit in there I can fit my meat my small little agenda from Target the sugar paper one in there um, my keys a snack granola bars I mean I can fit a spare pair of like shorts for my daughter in here you can fit a ton in this bag it's really spacious and roomy same thing the strap is convertible I love how the top is leather even though there's grommeting detail it's not uncomfortable or anything like that this is a great bag to travel with um, you still get the metal feet the difference is this little gold plate is not on my small one so that is one difference that I noticed along with the interior pockets there's no interior pockets on the other one really smooth zippers which I love and then you still also get that front signature clasp and another zip pocket to be honest I never use this what does my mom have in here oh what hmm. I guess hers came with extra leather that's so weird none of mine have ever come with extra leather what wow okay Hers apparently came with three extra cords of leather. Um, that's really nice. I don't even know if she realizes that's in there. I'm going to have to tell her. Um, so if these were to break, you have an extra one to place on there. That's awesome. My large one did not come with that, so I have no idea what that's about. Um, but you do have this nice large pocket. Sometimes I will slip my cell phone in there, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. This front pocket to me is really inconvenient to get into. Even if you leave this flap like flopping it's it's inconvenient so I don't know I really don't use it if I use it for anything it's just my cell phone but if you have more things you need to fit in here or maybe a credit card you don't use all the time or anything like that I guess it would be good to use but I cannot say enough good things about this you guys know I've hauled these bags a uh, quite a few times I really just think for the price the quality of these bags is really attainable and I feel like you get a lot for the money. They are leather. I feel like they hold up really nice. I don't, I mean, I can just throw these on and kind of beat them up and they really just, they look great years after. So I would highly recommend these bags to you guys if you've never tried a Rebecca Minkoff. Definitely, you know, check it out and see what you guys think. I recommend going through Nordstrom or Amazon. They both have really easy and convenient return policies. So if you get it and you're not really thrilled with it, or you pick the small and think you might want to go with the large, you can easily return them. Um, if you're wondering size-wise, it just depends what kind of wallet, honestly, you guys like to use. If you are committed to a full-size wallet and you have a checkbook and all that stuff, go with the large. Um, but if you are not committed to a huge wallet like this and maybe you just have a little card case, go with the small. I think for college students, the small is amazing nights out anything like that now you can completely take the chains off and just use this as a clutch and that would make a really like cute chic little clutch as well to be honest I don't really ever use them like that but I feel like I should start now so you could just kind of put this under your arm and use it as a clutch um, there's a million different ways you can wear them you can really dress them up or down and I think they're seasonally universal I don't think you know it's like a season bag I really do think it's a good staple to have in your wardrobe. Okay, so I think that's everything I wanted to share with you guys. I will do a comparison between the large Quilted Affair and the large Rebecca Minkoff Mac to tell you my opinions on those because I do have both of those bags. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!